Hello, I am Cassie Becker, Director of Youth Ministries here at Forest Hills, and I am bringing you our last Mail from Jail, which fits well with the end of our stay-at-home order and our slow start to getting back to normal. And as we finish off Paul's letter from jail to the Philippians, let's read Philippians 3, 7 through 11. But whoever regains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for, who, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage, that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and the participation in his suffering, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Now Paul gets very blunt in verses 7 and 8. There's a word he uses that is in Greek, the original language Philippians was written in, called skubalon. Your Bible probably translated it to garbage like mine did, or maybe rubbish. This is a very kind translation. If translated literally, the word means more of excrement, Paul says that considers that he considers anything else compared to following Jesus to be a big pile of poop. Sometimes we tame down God's calling in our lives, like we did here, from, from garbage instead of scubalon. But it's easier to tame down God's calling, especially when times are tough. But he calls us to make a choice. We have to make a choice on who or what we love the most. In your mind, take some time to fill in this blank. Jesus or. What is your or? Fill in the blank with the people or things that you love. As you mentally fill in the blank with those people or things, ask yourself the following questions. Which one controls me more? Which one do I love more? Which one should I love more? If I could choose only one, which one would I honestly choose? Sometimes those are easy. Jesus or my new car. Jesus or clothes or a house. Jesus or my spouse. Jesus or my child. These are some tough questions to wrestle through, but ultimately Paul reminds us that everything is scubalon compared to Jesus Christ. Take some time to fill in that blank. Write it out and write out, well, how are you really struggling with these? Which ones have more control on you than you thought you ha they had? As we move into a time of prayer, think about how you can surrender all to God. Let's close. God, if I am honestly willing to say, I want to live a life that chooses Jesus over everything else, I need to start praying prayers of surrender today. Lord, I lay down the people and the things to God. Let him know that I desire to have him be the priority in my life. Lord, make it shine through to everyone else that you are the priority in my life. Help me through the struggling of those things that hold me back from following fully in your footsteps. I ask this in your name, amen. So thank you for joining me today, and I will have to come up with some new devotions starting next week as we have ended our mail from jail. But let's run through our memory verse before we leave today. It is Proverbs 4, 23. Guard your heart because it's the wellspring of your life. Now just a reminder, this afternoon, you're gonna get an email that talks about our Zoom bingo. It'll have all the directions on how to sign up for Zoom and get connected on. We're gonna start check-in at 6.15 and then we'll start bingo at 6.30. You'll wanna join us, there's going to be some great prizes. And also join us this weekend for our drive-in service, which will be uh, for Pentecost at 10 o'clock. So come on back to the church at 10 o'clock uh, Sunday morning for our Pentecost service. And until tonight, Keep calm and carry God.